For this demonstration, we'll be looking at some one of the properties of water. So to set this up, you'll have two jars filled with cool water and some blue food coloring, two jars filled with some hot water and some yellow food coloring. The trick to this is putting the jars one on top of each other. If you're using boiling water for the hot water, you might want to put a little bit of cool water in first, otherwise these are quite hot to touch and, and difficult to handle. So you want this set up so that you have the warm water on the bottom for one and the cool water on the bottom for the other. Then you can ask the kids what happens when you mix blue and yellow. A lot of them should say that you get green. And then you can attempt to demonstrate that. If you move the one with the hot water on the bottom, The warm water will rise and mix, so you do end up with green water. However, if you move the one with the warm water on the top, it should stay mostly separate so that you still have yellow on top and blue on the bottom. Then you can ask the kids why one mixed and why one didn't and they may they may or may not be able to come up with hot water rises so the hot water on the bottom rose up and mixed with the cool water if you ask them why one mixed and why didn't they may be able to come up with hot water rises or warm things rise and you can explain that warm water is less is more buoyant than cool water so it rises and mixes to clean this up you're just going to let some of the water run out of the top jar into the tray